Hello, and welcome to our paper on aligning recommender systems to human values. Recommender systems are the largest AI systems and deeply entrenched in both markets and democracy. Because of this, the problems of recommenders are problems for society. Conversely, there are huge opportunities to promote positive outcomes. These are all questions of values in practice. This paper has three parts. First, we'll survey how recommenders are being built to serve human values today. Then, why this isn't good enough, followed by what we can do better. In short, we want to bring in theoretical ideas from the field of AI value alignment and apply them in practice. We'll start by reviewing what people do today. The engineering around many issues has followed a common pattern. Initially, systems optimize for a simple objective like clicks. This results in side effects or perverse incentives like clickbait. The designers go through increasingly complex metrics, culminating in a machine learning classifier. Hand engineering metrics to represent our values has become quite a sophisticated art. Spotify uses a diversity metric based on popularity to encourage musical exploration and promote underrepresented artists. On the other hand, concepts such as harassment cannot be captured using simple metrics. The Perspective API uses a natural language classifier to rate the toxicity of comments. It's usually not used alone, but as part of a triage system for human moderators. The most sophisticated recommender systems use deep learning to optimize for multiple objectives simultaneously. Today, YouTube uses both engagement data like clicks and user satisfaction data, which comes from surveys. There's a pattern here, which we call the standard approach to recommender alignment. First, designers identify a desired outcome at the conceptual level. This must be operationalized in the form of a metric or a classifier. The signal can then be used to adjust the recommendations. Let's take Facebook's meaningful social interactions work as an example. The company first articulated this concept related to well-being in late 2017. This concept of meaningful social interactions was operationalized through user surveys and these survey results were used to build a predictive model that fed directly into the recommendation system. Here's what the overall system looked like. Notice how the survey results were used to build a model, which then shaped the objective function for the newsfeed ranking. Also notice that the system designers are ultimately making all the decisions about what to value, how it's measured, and how it trades off against other goals. So that's what everyone is doing now, and it works, to a point. It's a reactive, slow process, and it really just reproduces the designer's values. These may not be the user's values. We need faster, more transparent, multi-stakeholder approaches. We can do better by taking some ideas from AI alignment. Informally speaking, AI alignment is the problem of making AI systems do what we want. Recommender alignment is similar, except the we includes more and different types of people. We see four promising research directions. First, although there is no single definition of values, there are already many useful domain-specific metrics that could be used for test data sets and evaluation protocols. For example, the IEEE recently published a standard collection of well-being metrics, originally developed for public policy applications, that are applicable to AI systems. Second, there are emerging techniques for scalable participatory design of ranking systems. The We Build AI framework uses interactive techniques to build a model of each person's preferences, which are then combined through a voting method. This allows the interests of different types of stakeholders to be directly represented in the algorithmic results. Third, recommender systems need to be able to learn from users on the fly, not just when engineers code a new objective. One promising approach is to design recommendation systems that explicitly interact with users to elicit preferences. Finally, informed judgment, especially retrospective judgment, can help us learn what users value over the long term and avoid traps like addiction. Many recommenders already use feedback from surveys. What happens if we ask over longer periods of time? Ultimately, we want a world where anyone can just tell a recommender what to do. We believe today's value engineering methods are insufficient and recommender engineering will need to borrow techniques from AI alignment to achieve this vision. Thanks so much for watching and to our collaborators on this paper. If you're building recommenders or working on related problems, please get in touch.
Thanks.